Hi everyone, my name is Tatiana and I finally have the Hero Arts My Monthly Hero Cards for the month of October 2023 that I made. So I'll just put them to the side and we'll go through them one by one. The first card I used the word dies obviously and I cut out two or three, I think it was three of them. So I layered them up so they were a nice chunky piece to put on there. And the middle portion of the word die I colored with my alcohol ink marker to make it a nice uh, bright red for Christmas. And the background was just made by embossing the stars in white embossing powder. And then I put this strip of gold along the bottom to make it seem more Christmassy. And then the tree was highlighted, the, I made some snow down there, by using this lacquer pen from Hero Arts. It's sparkle clear color. So if you look at it up close, there's a little bit of sparkle in there. It just kind of looks like there's some snow on the tree. And I left the fox white because I thought he should be sort of a surprise behind the tree. I didn't want him to stick out too much. And I just wanted this to be a color palette of red, white, gold, and gray. Just very simple. So that's the first card. For the second card, I went completely away from Christmas time and I made a happy birthday card. And this frame die, I use quite, I get quite a lot of use out of this. It's um, this Hero Arts die called Looking Glass Fine Art Frame. And I layered that up. I made two or three cuts of it and uh, glued them all together. And then I used the happy die from this month's kit and I cut out a peeking animal and I made him a very tiny little party hat and I put some um, Nouveau drops on the party hat so that they would match the rest of the card. And then the background was stamped once again with those star stamps. I really like the shape of those star stamps and I just kept it sim simple by using red and blue. And those two colors, if you're interested, were salvaged patina and candied apple, uh, distress oxide colors. And then for the birthday um, word, I just used some thickers that were sold by Studio Calico at some point. So they're, they're a chipboard thicker. And then I made a frame out of gold, uh, gold cardstock to match the frame inside the card. So I really like that one. I think it's really cute. So for the third card, I cut out a whole bunch of those trees. And once again, I used that lacquer pen on the branches to make it look like there was some snow on them. And then I, for the background, I used this Spellbinders die that I guess is supposed to look like a postage stamp. I got this a while ago. I'm not sure if they still sell that, but it's by Spellbinders if you're interested. And I popped I, so I layered these trees in different colors. I used purples and pinks, and then I layered them or stuck them up with some foam tape on the back. And then I just used a pale pink to match this pink, um, which this was saltwater taffy, distress oxide, so that it would match. And I just left that very soft looking. I didn't want there to be, um, I could have put some color maybe around the edge of that, but I just wanted to look like it does. Okay, so for the fourth card, I gold embossed. I used the embossing powder called Brass. I think we got it in one of the kits recently. And when I embossed the ornaments, they bubbled up a little. And, you know, I kind of like that look. I was going to start over and I was like, hmm, you know, old ornaments, they don't look perfect. So I kind of like the way it looked there. I didn't like it so much when I did it on the, when it happened on the words, but that was my fault. I was probably holding the heat gun too close to the paper. Um, but anyway, I used, so I used these, that gold and then I found a piece of gold cardstock in my stash that just matched the same color and it's just on a red background and that's a really simple Christmas card. And then for the last card, I cut one, uh, one of those background dies into a rectangular shape and then I just framed it with some glitter card stock and then I cut the words, the middle of the words, out of some the same glitter card stock and then I used the acrylic uh, spray that we got with the kit to just flick the top of it, fl flick the um, this part of it anyway, I unscrewed that and just flicked it on the background so that there was a 
snowy background for the card. Okay, that's it for this month, and I'll see you next month. Thanks so much. Bye.